Hey guys, it's Ginger and I am back with video number two of what I guess I will call my Madam Glam Swatchathon. <laughs> so in this video we are going to be swatching the smoothie collection, the candy fluff collection, all of my one-step gels, and I have one metallic to show you which is their hybrid. So this is the smoothie collection. These are so cool. I have swatched these before. Um, please go check out my Madam Glam a playlist if you want to see those. But I think that these videos um, are a little bit better than the older ones. I do have a newer phone. The camera is a lot better. And I'm recording everything in 4K. So if you have a 4K TV um, or capability to watch in 4K, please watch in the highest definition you can. And hopefully that will help. So back to the colors. <laughs> um, what I really love about these is that they are opaque and when you go in with your second coat it gives this really cool layering effect to it to where the glitters have they're like layered on top of the color. I don't know it's just so pretty. I really love how these turn out. Um, definitely some of the coolest uh, colors that I've ever had from Madam Glam and they're they're really interesting. I don't gravitate towards these um, very often. I'm not sure why uh, but they're very very neat colors so this one has a slight sparkle to it which is just so pretty. Love it. Okay so this is the candy fluff collection and I have swatched these ones before as well. Um, these are I just I kind of don't know what to do with these sometimes but I think that these would go really great for like Easter nails for some reason I don't know why but like when I do the pink one and the and the uh, purpley one I feel like it's like a fluffy bunny or something so <laughs> maybe I'll pull these out around Easter and do an Easter Manny with them I think it would be really cool so these are all showing up very true to color so I will uh, let you watch these and I'll come back to you when we get to the next one. Okay guys, so this is their one step gels. Now this has the base coat and top coat all in one with the color. And this is their newer bottle. It has the swatch on top like their older bottle does or their regular gels do. And their older ones ha just had the sticker on top. Um, but they are a smaller bottle just like the older ones. So these are 10 mil and their other gels are a 15 mil. Um, and this one here is very sheer, but it's got a tinted it's the like the base coat is tinted clear um, tinted blue and then it's got all that sparkle in it it's really pretty um, but it's not very opaque on its own I did go ahead and do three coats of this um, to try to build it up and I still didn't get it opaque so uh, yeah I'm not really sure what to do with that one that one was sent to me by a friend of mine and uh, I don't think she really knew what to do with it either so <laughs> um, and these two colors here, these two pinks that I have, are so beautiful. I love these colors. Um, just, oh, so, so pretty. And they have like almost a metallic finish to it with a slight shimmer, just like a micro shimmer. Very, very pretty. And this one is like the softest baby pink. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I, you guys know how much I love Madame Glam, and I cannot say enough about their gels. They're just fantastic. So, Okay, guys, so this color here, when I saw the swatch online, I was very intrigued by it, by what they had on the website. 
but when I got it in person I was very disappointed and I don't say that very often at all about Madame Glam colors but this one just just didn't do it for me I thought it was gonna be more of a like a shifting kind of color from like blue to green and it really it really is a lot more sheer than I thought it was going to be and the color just wasn't what I was expecting and that happens from time to time um, and I know some of these colors are very hard to capture to get like a picture of um, this is showing up pretty true to color right here um, it almost has a slight green to it but not quite and it's more of a metallic -y kind of blue but again it's still pretty sheer so I just wasn't super impressed with that one now this one is called Confidence. This one is so pretty and it is coming off on camera way more purple than it actually is in real life. In real life it is more of a blue. I wouldn't really even call it a periwinkle. It doesn't have that much purple in it and I'm not sure why the camera picked it up as, as purple as it did. So that one is way more blue. And this yellow one here is also coming off a different color than it really is it's not quite that bright of a lemon yellow it's more like the lid here so it looks more like the the lid on camera but in real life it doesn't really look like it's lit at all so <laughs> um, yeah definitely not quite this bright more of a I'm not mustardy yellow but just a, a warmer tone yellow than what it's coming off on camera and this one is one of my absolute favorites it's called Clover and it's a deep, deep green. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Um, I apologize, I was having some issue with my brush here. It, it corrects itself on the second coat, but the first one came off pretty streaky. I don't know what was going on with my brush. <laughs> and this is super dark. It's almost, it almost looks black, but you can still tell it's green. It looks a little dark on camera, but oh my gosh, I love this color so much this with some gold clovers stamped over it would be stunning okay guys so this is the last color uh, for this video this is the only uh, metallic hybrid I have and this was also sent to me this stuff is pretty neat now that I know how to use it um, you want to put a no wipe top coat down first and then you go in with your color and you cure it and you see how it changed to that metallic -y look and then you want to top it again with the no wipe. Now you can put um, black under this and it'll turn out really good to make it more opaque. I found that the color was pretty opaque on its own and I didn't think it really needed a black base coat. So gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I'm looking forward to getting more of these as well. So that is it for this video, guys. And stay tuned for the next one. And uh, maybe one more after that. We're going to try to get these done as fast as I can. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.